Good morning everyone. This is our first assembly while you are learning at home. Now I've already seen so many of you on your Zoom calls. You've been working very hard. Well done. I've also seen some of the work that you've put up on Google Classroom and on Tapestry. So I know you're busy at home. Some of you are in school, of course, so I've been seeing you most days. But it's a very strange time. Your teachers and teaching assistants would love to see you and to be in the classroom again with you. And one day we will be. Now you know what season it is, don't you? Did you just say winter? It's winter. Winter is our season. And the month? Yes, it's January. And we're in winter at the moment. You probably know which season will come next. Spring will be here soon. Now, a lot of people don't like winter very much. At the moment, as you're watching this assembly, it's Friday morning. Or maybe you're watching this at the weekend because you were so busy on Friday. I'm actually recording this on Thursday afternoon. And right now, let me check, yes, right now, it's 10 past four. And you can see a little bit of my garden. Can you see I've got uh, a silver birch tree there? I've got a pair of those. You can just see one, I think, through my camera here. And you can see some trees in the distance. And it's starting to get dark, isn't it? It's nearly twilight at ten past four. Last month, by ten past four, it was completely black, completely dark outside. And next month in February, it'll be much lighter at the same time. So some people, they don't like winter very much because they don't like how it gets dark so early in the afternoons. They prefer spring and summer and autumn when it can be light until six or sometimes seven, eight, even later in the evening. I wonder if you remember last summer when it was probably still light outside when it was your bedtime. So some people don't like winter very much because they don't like how it gets dark early in the afternoon. Some people don't like winter very much because they worry about the conditions on the roads. They worry about ice on their car and having to scrape it in the morning. They worry about it being slippery as we're walking or travelling around. Some people get very, very cold in the winter and they don't like that very much. I wonder what winter does and why we have winter. I wonder if you've ever thought about that. Now this morning I put on my warmest jumper and I went out into my garden and I took a few photographs of the frost and of some of the plants in winter and I'm hoping that you can have a little look at them now. Here they are. story of when God made the world. 
he started with time and light and planets, seas and land, and then all the creatures and humans. And after creation, he rested. And that's really important for the plants as well. So perhaps instead of thinking of winter as just an annoying time, perhaps we can think about it as a time to just rest and renew and get ourselves ready for the spring. Maybe in your house you could make it extra cosy just doing these last few weeks of winter. I've got a candle here and it says winter on it. I wonder if you can see that. There's not much left of this candle because it smells so beautiful. Well, I think so anyway. And so I've had that burning through much of the winter. Maybe you have a fireplace that you can sit around at winter time. Maybe you have some extra cosy clothes or things to eat or drink that you like to have at just this time of year when it's a time to rest and a time to renew ourselves. Some of you have been thinking about New Year's resolutions, haven't you? We'll come to that maybe next week in assembly. But for now, I've got a poem that I'm going to read to you. Now I'm going to do some actions and you might like to join in as well. I think I might just read it first and then we'll do it again with the actions. The poem is called Winter and it's written by Jan Edmonds. The sun is veiled in clouds of grey. There's many a gloomy morn with biting winds and freezing fog when winter comes to stay. The distant hills are capped with snow. The trees stall torn, stand tall and bare. They sleep in silence, taking rest. In spring, they'll start to grow. Beneath the soil, bulbs hide away, deep down to keep them warm. As safe and snug, they rest and wait to see the light of day. Patterns swirl on window panes, hoar frost sparkles bright. Jeweled cobwebs hang from walls like shimmering silver chains. Life is hard for creatures, whether great or small. Some survive and some do not, some even fly away. Yet life goes on, yes life endures to flourish another day. The sun is veiled in clouds of grey. There's many a gloomy morn with biting winds and freezing fogs when winter comes to stay. The distant hills are capped in snow. The trees stand tall and bare. They sleep in silence, taking rest. In spring, they'll start to grow. Beneath the soil, bulbs hide away, deep down to keep them warm. As safe and snug, they rest and wait to see the light of day. Patterns swirl on window panes, hoar frost sparkles bright. Jeweled cobwebs hang from walls like shimmering silver chains. Life is hard for creatures, whether great or small. Some survive and some do not. Some even fly away. Yet life goes on. Life endures to flourish another day. So just as you sit quietly there, have a little think for a moment. 
What does winter mean to you? Is it all bad? Are there some things in winter that perhaps you enjoy? Are there some things you only do in winter? And now we're going to pray. So make yourself very quiet and still. And you might even close your eyes. Father God, we give thanks for the beauty of the world in winter time, for the way growing things rest, are protected and then burst into life when springtime comes, for the way small animals are safely tucked away and sleep until there's warmer weather, just as our bodies need sleep and rest. God has planned that trees and flowers should rest in the winter. God is good to us all. Amen. So I will see you again next week. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.